So right now we're looking at the Arai. This is the newest model from Tanai. It'll be kind of the top of the step up category. Other shoes in that uh, category are the Tanta, Tanta Lace. Really designed to balance uh, performance and comfort. The Arai is designed to add a little more performance to the step up line within Tanaya. So you're looking at two Velcro straps on the closure, a gently tensioned Rand band to give you a nice powerful toe edge, an unlined leather upper. Basically, the Arai is designed to serve as potentially a second shoe for a climber, you know, as they get out of their comfort based introductory shoe and really start looking for more performance. The Arai is a great stepping stone. Or for a climber who's, you know, been climbing for years, has a quiver full of expensive shoes, they want to train in something that isn't burning up their expensive shoes, but they don't want to deal with like a big, oversized, sloppy shoe. They still want to train footwork, so they need something that can keep up with them and their technique. The Arai is going to be a great fit for that. Retail on this shoe is going to be $125, so a nice approachable price point. One of the best things about Tanaya is all of their shoes are hand-built in Spain, EU sourced materials. So the same factory, the same workers who are building shoes for Chris Sharma, Alex Magos, Drew Ruana will turn the production machines around and they'll start on a line of Arise or a line of Tantas. So they really emphasize quality and craftsmanship across their line. There's no shoes that are just throwaway shoes for them, even if they approach different price points. The Arai is going to feature Tanaya's proprietary M4 rubber compound and a complete outsole here. So you're going to get a nice, stiff, supportive platform, giving you a lot of toe power and support underfoot, especially on long climbing days. The M4 rubber that we're using in this one's been changed a little bit to add a little more grip as compared to previous M4 compounds. So when it comes to fitting Tanaya shoes, I find that they fit pretty similar to a lot of the Italian brands that people are familiar with, uh, Scarpa, Sportiva. You know, obviously fitting a climbing shoe is gonna be a very, very personal choice. I tend to start at the, in the Balance Pro line, I recommend you start at your street size and maybe a half size down. A lot of climbers can go farther. One of the things that Tanaya does within their, within their step up line of shoes here is they don't tension the heel band quite as much to provide a nice, comfortable, long kind of mileage experience. So I find for a lot of climbers within the step up line, they can actually get away with going almost a full size down. But again, for most people, I would recommend start at your street shoe, potentially a half size down, and then kind of tweak your fit from there. Again, that kind of tip of the entry level category and dual Velcro closure, probably a big one is gonna be the unlined synthetic leather upper. So that means it'll stretch and conform to your foot. A a lot of our other, you know, a lot of other entry level shoes will be cotton lined, so they won't break into your foot quite as well. So we wanted to provide some of that real break-in experience with the Arai.